So in this short video, we are going to look at Copilot within Microsoft Word. We are going to perform quite a complex prompt that is going to attempt to take information from a template document, along with information in a capture document, which has got a table in it, and use Copilot to create a new document based on the template and the capture form. So what you'll see in a moment is two short videos showing the document and then we'll run that through Copilot to see how it performs. So if you look at this document here, you can see me just scrolling through. This is a Word template, which has got a number of different sections in it, which are required to be completed by the pre -sales. consultant. If you look at this document, you'll see this is really a capture form that we've created. So this is um, a table with a couple of columns. You may note that the um, fields on the left hand side of the table relate um, very loosely to the fields on. So now we've got this information. Um, we are going to construct our prompt into Copilot. Now, I have practiced this a couple of times. I have tweaked it a few times. Uh, I will show the prompt at the end of the video so you can play around with it yourself. So here you can see Copilot is doing its thing. It's coming through the information. And it will soon start to create the document. There it goes. So it's creating a document for us. Um, I'm playing this in real time, so it does take a little while. This is a couple of minutes to create the content but it's, um, it's, it's pretty good, so what you think. So it's quite cool, you can see it pulling in the various different sections of the document. As you have a look through it later on, there are a few discrepancies, so it's generally pulled most of the information through, but I think, you know, as any document that gets created by AI, you do need to check it and you will need to edit it and stuff, but it's definitely a lot faster, this approach, than going through the document the source document and updating it and, and saving the whole thing. And I think it's also quite creative. You'll see it's actually added some quite interesting tasks and things into the document as well. So so have a look through, we'll have a look at the, the document at the end to see what it's created, but I'm impressed. I actually love this bit here. You can see here it's been quite creative with the wording. So it's looking at some of the, the points that I put into the capture form and expanding on that quite a lot. So particularly around constraints and things. So it's using um, its knowledge library, if you like, through the LLM of actually constructing what might be issues and those kind of things. So it's really good to look at. Certainly captures far more information than I put in the capture form. I also love that here it has listened to what I told it about budget. So the price has come in under the $50,000 budget that I told it to come. So it's good that it's listened to that in the way it's constructed the pricing. So we're just about finished. What you can see here is we can now perfect the prompt. So we can ask it to change things, add things, um, do it again. But it's good. Finally got there. Took a little while, longer than planned, but do practice. You really need to practice your prompts. Uh, think about what you're going to do. Explain it like you would to an untrained assistant. And uh, good luck. Enjoy. And um, please share your experiences with Copilot. Thank you.